I think it's important that they understand that, that it is approximately a six week process. And as they move into the IVF cycle, there is about a two week setup time. Prior to that setup time, I think it's important that they understand that they definitely should quit smoking, work to be at an optimal weight, preferably a body mass index of less than 30, and work on their work-life stress ratio. Once they get into starting their medications, I think they need to understand that, that every single time they go into the office, they're going to collect more information that hopefully is good news, but still represents a new stress for them. And, and each visit they can help themselves by asking, their, asking questions that are important to them, staying focused on, on the details of the cycle and trying to block some of the other, other things out. I think one of the things that uh, is difficult in the, in, as you move through an IVF cycle is every IVF clinic has a busy waiting room. And that busy waiting room actually represents some group stress. So you can, you can let some stress out by having a partner to go through the cycle with. And a lot of my patients actually find somebody who's on the same schedule they are, and that helps them through the cycle. And that's somebody who's going through what they're going through. So really to set up what you're going to do for stress relief through the cycle is important in the beginning and during. As far as um, waiting for your pregnancy test, I think that's a very difficult part in a, of an IVF cycle, and patients can prepare for that by making sure they have something to occupy their time during that waiting period, making sure they've communicated with their partner about their anxieties, and making sure they understand that no matter what their pregnancy test is, this represents their single best chance for pregnancy based on all the literature and data out there, and they have every reason to be hopeful and optimistic.